Culture plays a pivotal role in the lives of most Kenyans with close to 70% of the population, mainly women, relying on it. The Kenya's agricultural potential has been low with productivity reported to be on a gradual decline, affecting families, particularly in the rural areas. At the same time, market participation amongst rural farmers is still wanting, with most of them producing to the market instead for the market. Paul Thiongo tells us more. About 80% of Kenya's population lives in rural areas, with half of this proportion being poor. The rural population mainly depends on small-scale agriculture for food and income, suggesting that smallholder agriculture remains the major engine of rural growth and livelihood improvement for any pathway that can lift large numbers of rural poor out of poverty. Meeting the challenge of reducing poverty and improving rural incomes will require some form of transformation out of the semi-subsistence production systems that currently characterize much of rural Africa, Kenya included, to a more commercialized agriculture. The solution here is around aggregating these farmers into economic numbers so that if you pick two bags from as many farmers as, as, as possible, you are able to aggregate enough volumes that would attract uh, an aggregator to come and buy from them at much lower costs and build a relationship so that farmers start producing for the market, not to market. This in turn translates to a question of food security and according to Farm to Market Alliance, farmers in rural areas are unable to generate enough income to even buy food stuff for their own consumption. The urban areas income generation is exists so they are able to buy in rural areas the farmers are not able to generate enough income to even continue producing so progressively they sink into food insecure zones and this is even happening in some of the most productive regions of the country such as Meru County which is perceived to be food secure like even in some of the potential areas we are getting more of uh, frequent crop failure so it is like uh, the climate change is impacting on uh, the, the agriculture of Meru and the subsequently causing a lot of food insecurity. With climate change taking a toll on food production worldwide, farmers in rural Kenya are being urged to embrace climate smart technologies such as conservation agriculture where minimum tillage of the soil is practiced when planting using the right equipment. Generally, disc plowing will require at least two harrow passes to obtain a suitable seedbed. This leaves the soil very susceptible to wind and water erosion. The more you disturb the soils, the more you destroy soil building microorganisms. Turning soil exposes your valuable moisture to the sun, thus burning the moisture away. We have come out with uh, reapers and chisels. And when you are using this chisel, chisel plow, it is very good for high production, rest fuel used by the tractors, and as well as it is quicker than the disc, uh, disc plow. Adoption of these technologies is however hampered by various challenges, among them availability, cost and lack of proper capacity building for farmers. The adoption rate is not that high because this is an effort that needs many partners to come together so that they can be able to address it. We need partnership from the government, we need partnership from the private sector, and we also need partnership even from the input companies that are producing different technologies. Before I joined F FTMA, I was, uh, I was farming one acre, but for now I'm farming more than 20 acres. It has uplifted me from a smallholder farmer to a commercial farm to a commercial farmer of which it means also it has increased in my pocket from the small the little man i was getting to now to a big to a great amount of money now i'm honey the use of modern technologies can result in higher productivity and production entering Harambe stars ranking drops once again